Hello and welcome to another quick features demonstration on Cloodle. Um, today we're going to go through the new feature that is the awards, challenges uh, and activities catalogue. Um, and you may have explored how to use uh, awards, challenges and activities on Cloodle before um, and you will have created your own award, challenge or activity through um, the awards section on the, on the site um, and you will have gone into that clicked create awards and gone through the process of creating your own award. Well, we've recently released uh, some pre-created awards, activities and challenges that you can select from um, and enable your users to either complete or to award it to them. Um, and if we log into our staff or administration account uh, and go into our awards here, um, you can see there is a new search catalog button. And if I click that, it takes you through to all the available awards, challenges and activities that you can select from. Uh, and these will be added to on uh, a daily and weekly basis. So there'll be continually more to pick from uh, that you can use. Um, but this is as it stands at the moment. And here's a flavor of some of the things that you can select from. Um, so there are things like challenges, uh, there are activities that learners can add to their profile uh, in different categories, so things like the Master Leader Award uh, and so on and so forth. So uh, let's just go through what you would need to do. So let's see, say we find one that is of particular interest, so the Marcus Aurelius Challenge, let's say. Uh, we can click on More Information. It tells us uh, that for learners to complete this challenge, they need to download the PowerPoint in the description, create a post, um, and upload it to their profile. So if we click on description, we've got a document that we can download here, um, which formulates part of a lesson plan, I guess. Um, uh, so if we go back, what we can do is click on add. And what that does is it creates an instance of this particular challenge uh, for our uh, school, college or organization. Uh, we can then set it to our class in the usual fashion. So click on level three, continue. And then all the learners in, in our class will then be added to the Marcus Aurelius challenge that will appear in their to do's uh, and then they can go about completing that um, in the usual fashion. Um, if you do not know how that works currently, um, there is another video uh, on our site that will take you through that process. Um, so for a challenge, uh, learners will complete that and that will be in your marking section once they have done so. So all the submissions for that will come through to this marking section and you can mark those. Um, there are some instances of challenges that get marked externally. So if you are unsure as to whether you will be responsible for marking them or not, then please click on the speech bubble and get in touch and we can um, point you in the right direction for that. Alternatively, if I go back to my awards and go to my search catalog, um, there are also awards. So that was a challenge, so learners have to complete some sort of challenge to, to complete that. Um, in our awards, we've got things like the Positive Outlook Award, Confidence Award, um, the Master Leader Award. So let's use this one. So a few description. This is for people who display master leadership qualities. Uh, and in order to achieve this award, you must have done so on and so forth. Um, so we're going to add that to our profile as well. Um, the slight difference with an award than a challenge is that learners don't necessarily have to complete something uh, in order to receive this. So um, what we can do when we're in our class, say Jason has dis displayed um, master leadership, we can, we can search for his name, Jason, and then we can click on award learner and we've got our master leader award here. Click on award, Jason displayed, whatever it is he displayed, click post an award. And if we click on view on profile, we can see in his awards section, the master leader award for Jason. So again, there are different, um, if I go into my search catalog, we can search by type. So I've clicked on my awards type here. There are all the awards. There are also challenges that we can search and select from. So things like organizing a football match, upload a post showcasing the skills. So this is the difference with the challenge. You have to actually complete that to, to, uh, to receive this. Um, we've got activities, so if I click on activities, these are just basically things that students can add to profiles and, and post against. So if they're, they're fond of trekking or whatever it might be, you can select that um, and add learners to that. And also opportunities, which are used slightly less in schools and colleges, but again, uh, there are some here that you can that you can choose from. Um, so this might give you some ideas as to things that you can use Cloodle for. So challenges, um, click through the, the catalog, um, click on more information then add and then you will get an instance of this particular challenge in your school or college.